And I think that there are good sources of information out there, but I think what you find is that for some reason now you have people who seem to talk about everything, you know what I mean? Like every a talking head, doesn't, when we talk about every topic on, on the show, for instance, but most talking heads, um, you know, they, 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 they delve off into areas where they're just sort of dabbling and reading the news like everyone else. And so, uh, you know, like, I like Peter Zihan, for instance, I like him. I know Pete has become popular recently because of his new book. You know, I think it's the end of the world is just the beginning, but he wrote a few before that. And I think he's very, like, he sounds very credible. He has a grasp of lots of facts, but then at the same time, I think he's got some clear biases in his thinking. Like you just can't imagine that anything works out well for Russia, for instance. You just can't imagine that. Um, and he can't imagine that, um, you know, really that the, the U S doesn't come through the difficulties that we're facing quite well. I think it's just kind of biased in that way, but, but so I think you have to like, you have to listen to people and then you have to make your own judgment about it still and still ver you know, trust, but verify, even there's no guru for information. Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly correct. And, um, you know, frankly, you know, if I know somebody is a socialist or a fascist, well, I, I tend not to trust or believe their interpretation of anything because their whole worldview is a skew from mine. Maybe I'm the one that's wrong. I don't know, but I know what my values are and your values, it's personal freedom. I mean, that comes number one. It's not the preservation of the state or something like that. A lot of people do think from that assumption as sort of step one, they do. Yeah, 